Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequence and series. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean of p and q terms of the sequence, which is given to us as minus 16, 8, minus 4, 2, satisfies the equation and the equation given to us is 4x square minus 9x plus 5 equals to 0 then the question is asking us to figure out the value of p plus q if i talk about the answer choices that we have been given here the options are 5 10 12 16 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Let's see how to solve this question further and understand how to find the solution to this. Before starting off with the solution, I will first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you anyways but it also motivates me to make better content for you and try to provide the solutions as easy as possible. Let's see the geometric progression given to us. We have been given minus 16, 8, minus 4, 2. So if I have this geometric progression, I understand that the ratio is constant between the consecutive terms. So we know it is already a geometric progression with the first term, minus 16. And the common difference, if I see, you are dividing everywhere by minus 2 to get the next term. So if I'm dividing by minus 2 to get the next term, D in this case, if I see, it becomes your second term to the first term's ratio. That is 8 divided by minus 16, which is 8 ones, 8 twos. That is minus half. So we get the common ratio that is constant ratio, which is minus half here. And the first term here, it's minus 16. So we get the understanding here for A and D. Now, once I have both of them with me, if I try to figure out the further ideas that is told to me that it also satisfies the arithmetic and geometric mean of pth and qth terms of this also satisfy this quadratic equation. So let's solve that quadratic equation, which is given. So 4x squared minus 9x plus 5 equals 0. So here I understand that the product of the two numbers has to be 20, which is 4 into 5. And the sum of the two numbers has to be minus 9. So I understand the two numbers have to be minus 5 and minus 4. So 4x square minus 5x minus 4x plus 5 equals to 0. So now if I see here, I can take out common as x. That leaves me with 4x minus 5. This one. So that also leaves me with 4x minus 5 equals 0. So from here, I get 4x minus 5 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. So that gives you 4x equals 5 or I can write x is 5 over 4. From here, if I see, I get x is 1. So I have my roots of the quadratic equation, which is either 5 over 4 or 1. So once I have that, the values of x. Now, once I have these values of x, the question tells me that arithmetic and geometric mean of pth and qth terms satisfy this equation means one out of them is an arithmetic mean and the other is a geometric mean. And we already know the relation between arithmetic and geometric mean that arithmetic mean always has to be greater than or equal to geometric mean. And when that is the condition, we know if I compare the roots, 5 over 4 is somewhere greater than 1 and this is just 1. So from here I understand if this condition has to be true, arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to geometric mean that gives you arithmetic mean would be 5 over 4 and geometric mean in this case I get this is 1. So once I have both of the ideas, now let's see the question. It's telling you that pth and qth terms of this 
gp so let's find the pth and qth terms using this idea of geometric progression so we know basically nth term in the geometric progression is given by a into r raised to n minus 1 so if i have pth term to be figured out a it's basically your first term which is minus 16 r in this case which is your ratio that is common ratio denoted by d in this case so that is minus half raised to n minus 1 or in this case, since it is pth term that we're talking about, it will be p minus 1. Similarly, qth term also, if I figure out, it's minus 16 into minus half raised to q minus 1. So I have my pth term, I have my qth term. Once I have both of them with me, the question is telling you arithmetic mean and geometric mean of this idea. So let's find arithmetic mean of this. So I know arithmetic mean, it's nothing but a plus b divided by 2. So if I figure out that, Arithmetic mean it is pth term plus qth term divided by 2. pth term we already know here. It is minus 16 into minus half raised to p minus 1. Plus this is also minus 16 into minus half raised to q minus 1 divided by 2. That is your arithmetic mean and that is also we know it is equal to 5 over 4. So we have this condition. Let's see the other one, geometric mean. So geometric mean, we know it is nothing but square root of a into b. That is square root of pth and qth term. Square root of minus 16 into minus half raised to p minus 1 into minus 16 into minus half raised to q minus 1. And that entire thing, we know it is geometric mean and that's equal to 1. So you get this. I have both of these ideas with me. Now let's try to further evaluate and figure out what is the value of the question which is asked to us that is p plus q. So let's try to solve this further. So if I see here, if I square this geometric mean particularly from both ends, I get from here minus 16 into minus 16 which is nothing but plus 16 squared and minus half raised to p minus 1 and minus half raised to q minus 1 which gives you minus half raised to p plus q minus 2 that is equal to 1 square which is basically 1 so if i try to further evaluate this idea let's see what i get so 16 square minus half raised to p plus q minus 2 is equals to 1 that was the condition we know here now 16 i can write that or I can take that on the other side. So this gives you minus half raised to p plus q minus 2. And this gives you 1 over 16 square which is 256. Now if I write this as 16 square. I can also write this as 1 over 16 squared. And that I can also further write 16 is nothing but 2 raised to 4 squared. So that gives you 1 over 2 raised to 8. So your right hand side is 1 over 2 raised to 8. Your left hand side is this. Now if I see minus half raised to p plus q minus 2 is equals to 1 over 2 raised to 8. Now if I want to convert it into the same base as given in here, that is if I have minus half and I need minus half here also, I can just put minus half also. Because minus half raised to 8 is also going to give you 1 over 256 plus half raised to 8 is also given to give you the same answer. So from here, if I see I have the same bases, I'll equate my powers. So p plus q minus 2 is 8. p plus q is 8 plus 2, which is 10. So I get the understanding that the question which is asked to us to figure out the value of p plus q, that is basically 10. And if I see the answer choice that matches here is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we had our quadratic equation. We just figured out the answers for the roots of the quadratic. From there, we understood what is the arithmetic and geometric mean. Once I got them, I just figured out arithmetic mean equated that with 5 over 4 and geometric mean I equated with 1. Further, when I solved the geometric mean that gave me the answer for the question that was asked to us, that is the value of P plus Q that matches with option B, that is 10. So B becomes the correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. 
I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.